Hello, this is Eric Hanischek, and I'm here with Paul Peterson. The two of us are in California at the Correct uh, Task Force for Education and working with Education Next on trying to figure out what's going on with U.S. schools. Today, all we hear about are fiscal problems. We have seen almost every newspaper in the country report in the spring the massive dis distribution of pink slips to teachers. And so it looks like fiscal problems are really at the forefront of everything. Is that how you see this, Paul? Well, there's always cuts, but what are you cutting from? And when, you know, the newspapers never tell you what they're cutting from. Are they cutting from what they would have liked to have spent? Are they cutting from what they spent last year? Or are they cutting from what they would spend if they had the current budget plus the 3% raises and all the salaries that they have contracted out to all the uh, parties that the uh, district works with. So we're never told which of these things there are. So there's always cuts, but you have no idea what they're cutting from. What we do know is that historically, the amount of money that we've been spending on education has been going up and up with every passing five-year period of time. Paul, I don't quite understand this. Every year, though, they're sending out pink slips to all their teachers. Aren't we having sort of substantial layoffs? Doesn't that tell us what's being cut? Well, that's, that's due to this uh, uh, silly way in which they put budgets together. They pretend that they don't have the money until the state legislature has appropriated it. The appropriations never come in until the summertime. And so in the spring, you don't literally have the money there. So then you have to tell the teachers, well, we might have to let you go unless the money we know is coming comes. Well, I've always interpreted that as a little bit of politics. You're the political scientist, but I've always thought that teacher salaries are basically politically determined and that this is one of the ways to argue for more money for schools. Well, there's always a feeling that teachers are badly paid. It, it turns out that teachers are as well paid today as they've ever been compared to other occupations. Uh, but uh, there's always this feeling, well, teachers are, are poorly paid. And these kinds of stories tend to reinforce this, this image. Now, it turns out that teachers' benefits are getting better and better relative to other people. So if you actually look at how much teachers are getting paid plus their benefits, they're looking better today than they've ever been. Well, let's speak a minute about benefits because as I see it, that's part of the issue in Wisconsin. Wisconsin has gotten a lot of publicity because the legislature has been changing its laws. What elements of benefits are involved in that? Well, the best calculation I've seen is about $2 trillion worth of benefits that are out there have not been funded. So if we want to really get a uh, hole with our benefit account, we've got to come up with $2 trillion. Now they're talking about $2 trillion off the national deficit. Well, that's, they, they, they could just take that $2 trillion if they ever get it off the national deficit, and they could take it over there and, and do something about these, these pensions because these are massive unfunded liabilities. We don't have a financial crisis in American education today, but I, it's, it, you can't rule this out as coming in the future. So we do have a potentially a long-term fiscal problem, even if we don't have the short term. Is that how you interpret it? Well, the baby boom is going to impact on the retiring teachers, just like it's going to affect the Social Security. So everything that's happening to Social Security is going to be happening there. Uh, to all those teachers and principals and all the other people who are working. We have twice as many people for every hundred students working in education today than we had 50 years ago. So there's a lot of people out there who are getting <laughs> eligible to get a pension. So is this an issue that states should be taking up? We've seen eight or nine states now that have been doing something about teachers' unions or teacher contracts. Is this a, a real issue? Well, I think states are doing something about it. And uh, it's happening. It's even happening in Massachusetts and New York where the Democrats are in power. This is becoming a bipartisan. A responsible governor, a responsible mayor is finally taking a hold of the pension problem. Uh, whether it's too late uh, or whether it's on time uh, will depend on how the economy does. If the economy uh, grows, we're in great shape. If the economy doesn't grow, then we're in trouble. Um, you make me a little bit more worried, but uh, we'll just have to sit back and see what happens. This is Paul Peterson and Eric Hanischek talking about fiscal problems in education.